Hello and welcome to the Cruising Aboard Chicory video series. This time it's weather and route planning, which is part two. The first part was called weather and wave forecasting, but this time we're going to talk about to, high, to combine that wave forecasting we did in part one with route planning. I'm going to use our most recent trip from Brunswick Landing Marina in Brunswick, Georgia to West Palm Beach in Florida as an example for my forecasting and routing. The next step is to plot the course from the marina to our anchorage. This includes making sure that there's waypoints at least every 50 miles. Once the route is locked in and I provide the computer with our speed, it'll tell me exactly how long the trip will take. Once I have an estimated trip time, I try and get five goals accomplished. In an ideal world, I'd love to leave in daylight, I'd like to exit the inlet with current, I'd like to enter the inlet with current, I'd like to enter in daylight, and the fifth one is have good weather the entire trip. So let's talk about having good weather the entire trip. The reason I put in so many waypoints is because I want to be able to break the trip up in 6 to 12 hour increments and look at the weather at each of those waypoints so that I have a really good idea about when I'll be there, what the weather will be like. You can see time zero is giving me great information here about where I'll be at each waypoint, how much distance I've traveled, when I'm going to arrive, what the current is. Everything is great. So I take that information and I put it into a milestone sheet. My milestone sheet for this trip was a mess because we changed days and times so many times. So I'm going to use the trip from Miami to Brunswick as an example. So what this is showing is we're going to leave Miami Sunday at 1.40 past Fort Lauderdale Sunday at 4.08, be at West Palm Beach at 9.26 p.m., passing Canaveral and Monday at 12.46 p.m., St. Augustine Tuesday at 3.45 a.m., Jacksonville Tuesday 5.43 a.m., and arriving at Brunswick Tuesday at 12.07 p.m. Armed with this information, I can go to predict wind, go to all the waypoint areas, and gather information for wave height, wave period and wave direction. Then I go back to my sheet and I add three headlines for each of the forecast models and I write down the forecast information for each location. I start forecasting a couple days ahead of time and forecast either 12 or 24 hour increments seeing exactly what the trends are and seeing if I need to change my time of departure or arrival. But this helps me keep track of exactly how everything is changing in the forecasting world across all of my different waypoints. Using that information, I can calculate the comfort of the travel for the entire trip based on the information that I shared in part one of this video series. More often than not, that results in a very great trip. Here's a picture of what uh, the seas look like for almost the entire way from our trip from Brunswick to West Palm Beach. With that, I'm gonna end the video and thank you again for viewing, liking, commenting, and subscribing. See you next week.